Alright, what's up everyone, Duquesne23 here, and I am bringing you not really a new Halo 4 custom map, but a updated Halo 4 custom map, and this one is the my Star Wars Space Battle racetrack. Now, uh, now that the new race game type has come out, uh, in case if y'all did not know that, it came out, I believe, last week, um, like it was, came out while I was at RTX or something. And it is not the official race game type that like 343, you know, makes or something like that. But it is done by modders and it is pretty much exactly like the race game type. You know, there's checkpoints and if you die, you spawn on the checkpoints. It's literally exactly the same. Uh, if you notice in the background, it, that's us racing on just a bunch of people and everything. And that is the race game type and stuff. And it is exactly the same with some cool and new little additions but uh real quick just wanted to say that i did update the star wars space battle uh track i will be updating tracks periodically over the next couple weeks um actually not a couple weeks probably just a week and stuff and i'll come out with a video whenever i update it you know a certain track or something like that to work with race but since my star wars space battle is the most popular one decided to do that one first and i tweaked a little things that were you know some problems with the track um that i thought that i needed to tweak but i didn't want to do it uh you know a while ago i'd just rather wait till the race game type came out but here's a modded race game type so i decided to tweak it and the new one is in my file share if you notice it has uh the new one has a little parentheses race on it um so that's the new updated version so you could delete the old version or you could keep it if you want to uh which i don't know why it works better with race anyways um, but yeah, so there it is. And also, guys, I kind of adjusted the game type. Um, uh, let's real quick go into the forge and stuff right now. Uh, but I adjusted the game type to where uh, there's a few things. Uh, let me go over to it real quick. Um, this is something that all y'all can do, but I'm going to put this in my file share just in case, guys, y'all don't want to actually do this. Uh, so right here is a game type that I just, uh, the race game type that I just adjusted. It's called Mongoose Unlimited. I pretty much have these in all my uh, Halos, like Halo Reach, Halo 3, and everything like that. Uh, but this race game type, it's the same, except it already has, like, it's set to Mongooses. It's set to Unlimited Time. Um, your, your player character is invincible, including your vehicle. It's indestructible. Um, and there's no grenades. Uh, so that way it's more like the original race game type where, you know, uh, you can't kill anyone or anything like that. And, of course, no one has grenades, so they can't mess you up while they're racing if they fall off their mongoose. And, of course, unlimited time stuff. Y'all could download that or y'all could just go to the normal race game type and switch it uh, y'all selves and everything like that. But, it, you know, I'm just going to have that there just in case y'all want to download um, so you don't have to worry about things like that. All right, so now let's go ahead and I'm just going to explain, in case if y'all do not know anything about the race game type, I am going to explain how to set it up and everything. Uh, of course, you got to make sure you download the race game type first. So I will put a link to the original version uh, if y'all just want the original race game type. And I'll also put a link to my Mongoose Unlimited version. Uh, so y'all can have both, in case if you know y'all want both or something, or y'all can just choose one or the other. Either one's fine. Uh, but... Uh, while this is loading up, a special tank thanks, a uh, special tanks, a uh, special thanks to Halo 4 modders. They're the ones who actually did this. Their YouTube channel will also be down in the link. Uh, they have stated that they're going to be trying to do more original game types and everything that uh, we all know and love and stuff. Uh, so maybe like the normal infection, um, possibly you know like one flag and stuff like that you know so you can have some really cool game types like i remember stealing your flags uh that you stockpile or something i wonder if they're actually able to do that that would be really cool uh but yeah so here it is right here um guys literally all you have to do is put down spawn points you don't need to worry about doing anything in the advanced section like you don't need to set it to race or anything you can if you want but it doesn't really matter it's uh only people are going to be using this map is for race um yeah, you don't just put down normal spawn points. I put a couple respawn points out here because the first checkpoint is right here. Now, let's say some people are completely retarded and they decide to take a left right here and go and they die. They, you know, fall, go, try to decide to drive through here and then they hit a kill boundary and stuff like that. And they die before they reach their first checkpoint. So they won't spawn on a la random location on impact. Uh, I put a couple respawn points in here, which I suggest everyone needs to do that on their maps just in case. Uh, people don't make it to the first checkpoint so they can respawn here and keep going. 
Uh, so that's all you have to do. Same thing here. Now, one thing that you have to do, guys, is put one of each of these vehicles, a Banshee, a Warthog, a Mongoose, and a Ghost on here. The reason why is just because uh, those are the four type of vehicles that you can have with the race game type, and I'm guessing that the vehicles have to be on the map for them to accept those vehicles or something. Uh, so be sure to you put one of each on there. And if you don't want them to show up in the actual game itself, all you do is have to, you know, hit X on one of the vehicles like here on the Warthog. Man, I don't know if y'all can hear that thunder, but it's getting pretty loud. Uh, go to Advanced, then go down to Race Delete. It's under here, like there's the no label. You go to Race, and then Race Delete. Pretty much that makes it to where it will not show up on the map while you're racing. So that's just something really cool. But yeah, make sure you put four of those items out like that. One Banshee, one Warthog, one Mongoose, and one Ghost. And, you know, you can put them on Race Delete. All right, so now here's the checkpoints. Um, what you do is for your very first checkpoint, uh, whenever you put it out, put a height and width and everything like that that you want. Um, you go into advanced. The first checkpoint needs to be spawn sequence zero. That means it will be the first checkpoint to spawn. And you go down to the game type label and put it on race checkpoint. Uh, so it's very simple. And we'll go to the second checkpoint. I won't do this to every single checkpoint, but we'll go to the second checkpoint here. And the second one is right here and go to advance and now you change the second checkpoint to spawn sequence one because uh, that means one, you know the first one's zero so that one will be the one that shows up first and once people cross over that one this is spawn sequence one so this will be the next one to show up and it's going in consecutive order and everything like that and again game type label uh, race checkpoint so I'm not going to go through all of them but the next checkpoint that's you know like I think it's right over there or something uh, you're going to, you know, put that one as, uh, the spawn sequence two and then so on and so forth, you know, three, four, five and stuff, depending on how many checkpoints you have. Uh, so that's just something, you know, kind of tutorial on how to, you know, set up the race game type and everything like that. Now there are some other really cool options and stuff that you can have with this new race game type that the modders made. And I love the fact that they did this. What you could do is let's say you have a structure. I don't know if I have any of these structures left. Yeah. So let's say a bridge right here, and let's say I wanted to block this section off because a lot of people seem to drive through here. I'm just making this up, guys. Uh, but let's just pretend a lot of people drive through there and get confused or something. So I'm going to put that wall there, but if you don't want it to show up because that looks really ugly, like, you know, compared to the aesthetics, uh, you just hit X on the item, go to advanced, go down to game type label, and then you go to race hide. And whenever you go to race hide, that means whenever you start up the game, the object will still be there, but it will be invisible. So that way, you know, you can have invisible walls and stuff like that. It could be really cool. You can make invisible jumps. Um, you can make like an invisible maze and stuff like that, which is definitely really awesome. So that's pretty much how you set up the race game type. Um, now I'm going to go back into the main menu area because there's some really cool things. If y'all haven't already found out about the race game type, which I know probably some of you haven't, uh, I'm going to go back and I'm going to explain some things on the main game type and everything, uh, like the game type options. And there's some really cool stuff that the modders have added into this. Now, while this is loading up, I will say that I did talk to Frank O'Connor at RTX and he made it sound like they weren't planning to put in a race game type into Halo 4, which it really doesn't matter now because, well, you know, the modders made a race game type, so it works. And I think that's the reason why he's not worried about it anymore because he heard about the modders making one, and he doesn't care, guys. They, it won't be in matchmaking said we're not allowed to do things like modded stuff in matchmaking. Um, but he goes, we don't care if y'all mod in the race game type. We don't care if y'all play on a modded game type or a modded map and things like that. He goes, as long as it's not involved with matchmaking, then we don't care. If it's just custom games, whatever, they don't care. Uh, so now we go to, over to options for the race game type. And you can go over to your base player traits. Um, actually, what am I doing? I forget. Let me go over to custom games. I'm completely retarded. And now go to over to options. There we go. Uh, score to win. That's how many laps. You know, you can have three laps is the norm and stuff. Of course, if it's a short track, you may want to raise that up a little bit. Um, this is where I made the time limit unlimited and stuff. Um, here's the the race. It would normally say race here. In fact, let me just go ahead and go to the race game type so you can see. This is really cool also. Like here's capture flag, dominion, extraction flood, 
and then it's under community now one thing that's weird though each time i play the race game type another race game type thing appears on there uh so that's why i have so many race game type things on here so that's kind of funny how it does that maybe they'll fix that eventually i'm not sure maybe come out with an update of it and you got to re-download the race game type but right here this is the default race game type on here uh, you go into race options and here's important info right there is the youtube.com halo 4 modding uh, that's their youtube channel they have a little stuff uh, just explaining some things vehicles this is where you select the vehicles banshee you know none mongoose ghost um, the vehicle scale now this is you can have a hundred twenty five percent vehicle scale which that makes it a really large mongoose like I mean this mongoose is huge and stuff and so it's really fun to play with you can also go to mini mongoose which those are very difficult to drive but it's really fun a uh, lap counter enabled uh, spawn at checkpoints enabled which you can disable all this stuff um, stay in vehicle duration this is once you fall out of your vehicle you're gonna have three seconds to get back into your vehicle before you die and you just respawn at the last checkpoint I normally raise it up to 10 seconds allow people 10 seconds to jump back in their vehicle and stuff uh, player scale this is you can make your player 150 percent bigger uh, so that's definitely really cool or you can make them mini you know and everything it's just something a lot of fun uh, really cool that they did with this another really awesome thing about the race options is that you have some traits you have a final lap traits so whenever someone reaches their final lap you can change their shields health weapon damage all that type of stuff which there's no point in race for all that um, but one thing is that you can do is effects and go to visual effects and you can make it to where they look like they have an overshield whenever they're on their final lap so people can know oh this guy's on his final lap and everything so that's definitely really cool and you can of course go through all the typical little visual effects and stuff to, to be able to choose on that uh, but real quick I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all the uh, giant mongoose thing it's just really interesting I love the little additions that these Halo 4 modding you know people actually did in this and I really appreciate that they actually made this modded uh, race game type because uh, this has breathed a little bit new life back into race because it does get a little bit boring not having a race game type and everything like that uh, but right here we're gonna go ahead and generate this lighting on this Star Wars map and I, again, guys, I will be doing this to all of my maps and re-putting them inside my file share. If you notice, see my tiny little Spartan. I have a tiny Spartan and a big mongoose. Uh, so you can't really tell it's a big mongoose because of the fact that I have a tiny little Spartan. But this is a oversized mongoose and stuff. So, you know, normally mongooses doesn't take up, I guess, that much of this type of platform and everything. So... It's just pretty interesting the fact that they, you know, did the whole scaling thing. It looks like a lot of, you know, it's just a lot of fun to be able to have something like this. Um, but, yeah, so this is just definitely really awesome, the fact that they did this. So, there you all go. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, be sure to like it and also subscribe. I will, I do have a Halo uh, racetrack in the making. It's a, I guess it's not a Halo racetrack. It's a Star Wars racetrack in the making. And now that the race game type's out, so I will definitely be finishing that. And it'll come out to y'all, you know, somewhat soon and everything. So I hope y'all really enjoy, you know, this video. I hope y'all are going to enjoy the track with the race game type. It's going to be a lot better now. Now if you die, you can respawn on, back on the checkpoints and not at the very beginning of the map. And uh, I guess that's it. So I guess I'll see you all next time, guys. Later.